All right, we're gonna walk through making the CD for this fix. You need a CDR or CDRW available at your local pharmacy or computer store or big box location, wherever it might be. Go ahead and put that in. You might get a prompt asking you if you want to make a new CD or if you want to have it be a data disc. We'll go with data disc or new CD. This is a CDRW that already has some data on it, but that is fine. CDRWs can be written to over and over again. So, making the CD, we'll go for this option here. Save target as. And it's by default chooses to save in downloads, so that's where we're going to keep it. And download has completed. So we'll open folder because I want you to be able to see this .zip file. .zip might not show up on your computer, but the little icon with the zip, like a zipper, that's what we're looking for. All right, we first need to extract this. Right click and extract all. And you can just choose the default options, extract. And there's the file. Now, I want you to right click on this file and look for an option that says something like burn. Burn means we're going to put it on the CD, which is what we're looking for. Uh, if you're using Windows XP, when you right click this option, it won't say burn. It will just say open period, 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 I believe. So you'll have to download a special program that I link to on the website in order to do that. So burn disk image. And not a bad idea to choose verify. And then, this is Windows 8.1, but your disk will look similar. It says it's going to erase this. Are you sure? Well, if you're sure, then erase it. All right. If you want to get up and get a snack or something. Maybe I should say, if you don't hear your computer spinning the CD-ROM and making noise, then something's not right. If I knew anything about video editing, I would make this part appear in like triple time speed. Whatever software you're using will have a similar looking window. All right. It says it was success. So then we'll take this drive, this disk, place it into our broken computer, and boot up with it.